we have two more culture lights to look at tonight and next week. Tonight we are looking at discover yourself. Uh, and this is what Romans 12, 2, it says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Um, obviously the idea here being, rather than discovering yourself, kind of being changed, and uh, not really discovering yourself, but rather kind of muting yourself. Uh, and then on uh, Romans 3, 23, it says, All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That's that's who we are. So discovering ourselves is more like discovering that we are sinful and fallen. Um, and then in John 3, 30, uh, John the Baptist, speaking of Jesus, says, He must become greater and I must become less. We don't need to discover ourselves more. We need to discover ourselves less. We already know a lot about ourselves. And uh, we are probably the most self-absorbed uh, generation in a very long time, which is crazy because we always we always say things like, I need to really discover myself. And it's like, um... Is this an excuse for going to the bar and really doing all this <laughs> stuff? Like, any person I've heard, oh, I'm, it's the perfect time because I'm discovering myself. It's, they're not, it's nothing good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, in, in kind of consciousness, uh, first off, we are sinners born in sin. That's what there is to discover. The more you discover yourself, the more you have to. You, whenever you go on these like self-discovery, soul-searching things, you never actually get any answers or any like um, peace. It just kind of leads to more answers. Um, I, I remember there was a lot. There was a lot of times in my own life where I did a lot of soul-searching, and I never got any answers. There was always more answers, and it always left me feeling flat. And it's the same thing that happens to other people. And uh, as I kind of grew in the faith, I found out that this is actually something that the New Age, um, New Age. New Agers teach a lot is this whole power within finding answers by looking into yourself empty your mind and discover yourself all these different things and uh, they're all kind of connected with this idea of just the answer lies within all you have to do is search hard enough discover your true self you know and all this stuff and it's like it, it's, it's New Age nonsense that's not Christian nonsense so when I, so when I hear Christians talking about it it's like well, what is this it, it's okay to not to, uh, to know your likes and your dislikes and, and if that's what you mean by discover yourself, there's nothing wrong about that. Discover your likes and dislikes, fine. Um, don't push yourself too hard, you know, learn how to take a break. Okay, fine, Th that's fine. Have an opinion on stuff like, you know, politics or religion or whatever, that's fine. That's not really discovering yourself as people usually mean it, though. Usually when people say discover yourself, they mean, you know, I mean, they mean, you know, do like look inside and just, you know, get to know yourself more and, and worship yourself more. And uh, there is another aspect of discovering yourself that, that is something that Christians can learn from, and that's judge yourself and test your motives. You should always be in a place of growth. You should always be kind of like testing yourself to see if you are uh, growing, if you are maturing, if you are changing, or if you're pretty much just the same as you were yesterday, or even worse. And so the solution to this whole dilemma that the culture tells us that we have to discover ourselves is recorded here. Um, if anyone wants to follow after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. See, the attitude behind Christianity is is not coherent with discovering yourself. Those two cannot see eye to eye. You can either discover yourself or you can live as a Christian. In Christianity, you have self-denial. You have mental renewal and spiritual renewal. You have king being kingdom-oriented. How is being kingdom oriented discovering yourself? It's not. When you find missionaries that are dying for the sake of the gospel, they're not talking about discovering themselves. They're talking about living their life for something bigger than themselves. And so the solution to the whole lie that you should discover yourself is obvious. Deny yourself. And in losing our life, we are able to actually find it. And that is the end of this culture lie.